One of the greatest outflows from the Edwards Aquifer is the San Marcos Springs. Three large springs and hundreds of smaller ones burst forth from the base of a steep cliff at the edge of the Texas Hill Country. Today the springs are underneath Spring Lake, but early travelers and explorers described them as being fountains, gushing water several feet above the surface of the river they created. The San Marcos Springs have never gone dry in recorded history, and artifacts found here tell us they were used by native tribes for over 11,000 years before Europeans arrived. In 1845, General Edward Burleson, the first vice president of Texas, built his cabin on the hill overlooking the springs. In 1849, he built a dam across the San Marcos River to operate a grist mill, which formed Spring Lake and placed the springs underwater. Today, the springs are viewed through the floor of glass-bottomed boats, and many of the smaller ones appear as bubbling sands. In 1926, A.B. Rogers purchased the property, and by 1929 he had built the landmark inn on the shore of the lake. Mr. Rogers' son, Paul, bought the land from his parents in 1949 and founded Aquarina Springs, and most Texans know the springs best as the home of Aquarina. A visit here was a rite of passage for all Texas kids in the last half of the 20th century. The arena part of the name referred to a submersible underwater theater that was considered an engineering marvel in the 1952 edition of Popular Mechanics. Ralph the Swimming Pig, Mermaids, and Frolicking Underwater Dancers became trademarks at Aquarina. Other attractions were the Sky Ride Gondola Cars and the Sky Spiral, in which a round car traveled 220 feet up to the top of a tower. The springs in the San Marcos River below them have been designated as critical habitat for several endangered species, including the fountain darter, the Texas blind salamander, and Texas wild rice. The site was purchased by Texas State University in 1991 and is now known as Aquarina Center. It has been converted from a theme park to an educational park and is still a very popular family destination. The original glass bottom boats still run and drivers give informed lectures on the hydrology of the Edwards and the history of the springs. There's an endangered species exhibit and also the wetlands walk where visitors can get a close-up look at the plants and animals of a wetland ecosystem. The former Landmark Inn is now the home of the Texas River Center and it houses interactive displays on the Edwards Aquifer. The site of General Burleson's grist mill is a restaurant serving lunch and dinner on an outdoor patio next to the spillway. Just downstream of the springs there are several popular parks where it's easy to see the Texas wild rice. With good management and protection of the Edwards Aquifer, the San Marcos Springs and the endangered species here can remain healthy for many generations to come. <laughs>